Welcome back to part two of our installing WordPress video in our GORM IDE series. Now we downloaded WordPress, but we didn't exactly install it yet or get it running yet. So that's what we're going to do next. And what I'm going to do right now is get rid of some of this stuff. This is our sample index page and I'm just going to select it and I'll right click on it and just delete it. I'll get rid of it because I don't want any other files to kind of mess us up here and even our gzip file, it's already decompressed right here in this folder called latest. I'm going to select this, right click on it, and choose delete. And then in this latest, we have latest, and then we have WordPress. And what I'm going to do is highlight all the WordPress files and put them in WP sample, because that's going to be our main directory. So I'm going to highlight all these files, and hopefully we can do this and move them from inside this WordPress instead of renaming it or anything like that we're gonna move them and put them at the higher directory so let's see if we can do that and the process is done so that was easy to do so we're gonna get rid of this latest folder as well so I'm gonna select it right click and choose delete okay so now this is our main directory what we're going to want to do is go to the index.php out of this directory and that should start our WordPress install. But before I do that, we want to create a database that we can write to. So if you've ever done a WordPress install, you know you have to create a database. So we're going to do that first. So if you've worked with AMPs or MAMP or anything like that, you should create a database first. So we're going to do that in phpMyAdmin. So we're going to go back and go to phpMyAdmin, which is already open, and we're going to make a database that we're going to write to. So that means we could go to databases. And we'll just create one and I'll just call it, I already created one WP sample at one point when I was practicing, but I'll just call it that again. I'll call it WP sample. That'll be our database. And all you have to do is create it. You don't have to make a table, anything. So just hit create and you don't have to do anything here. So you could just go back to SQL. You could go anywhere as long as it's there. That's all you have to do because the install will write to that. So we'll go back here and instead of just opening up this index.php, what we're going to do is we're going to connect to it. So I'm going to go to project running URL and port again and open this up. And when I click on here, it should launch the install. And there we go. You've probably seen this before if you've ever worked with WordPress. And right off the bat, it says you need the database name, the username, the password, and the host. And we have all that stuff. We should know all that stuff. So let's go. And it says database name and we're calling it WP sample. That's the one we just created in phpMyAdmin. The username is going to be phpMyAdmin because that's our default. And the password, our database password is root. And we're just going to keep it in localhost and we can keep table prefix at wp underscore so you don't have to do anything. So that's all we needed was our database, our username, and our password. And localhost is default so we're going to hit submit. Now, this thing here, it says unable to write to WP config file. And this makes it real easy because you just have to copy this stuff and create a WP config file yourself so it copies over the original. Because right now, it's using the sample file. So it's using that right now, which we don't want. So you got to make a new one. So I'll cancel that. And all you have to do is make sure you're on WP sample and hit the plus and make a new file. We're going to make a PHP. Matter of fact, you could just go to config sample and choose that and then just take out the sample part. Because if you remember from here, it's, it's saying it wants a file called wp-config.php and you're going to put this stuff in here. I now am creating a file called wp-config.php. It's going in there and I'm going to hit OK. Here it is. And there's nothing in there. It's a PHP file, so it just has PHP tags. There's nothing in there. So I'm going to go back here, and this is already highlighted, so I just have to copy it, Command-C or, or Control-C, copy all that stuff, and I'm just going to put it in here, and I'll just wipe out all this stuff. And you should just go through it. You could see that it has the correct values in here, WP sample. Now, you could have went into sample and changed these things and then renamed it just WP config, but that worked fine too, making a new file. That way you still have your sample there for whatever reason. So this is the information we need, so everything's okay. And we're just gonna make sure you save it, make sure you see the X then. So now this is saved and I could close it, I believe, so I don't have to keep it open. And now since we did that, we're gonna click on run the installation because it says after you've done that, run the installation. So I'm gonna run the installation. And now this is the WordPress stuff. 
So it says site title and I'll just put WP sample and username, I'll just use Home Studio and password, you could use anything you want. It's saying it's weak, but that's okay. And I'll confirm a weak password because we're just practicing here. So don't do anything that's really hard to remember. Do something you use all the time, unless you're gonna copy it up to the server or transfer it to the server, then we'll worry about the passwords and things like that, especially for the databases as well. So I'll put my email in here and I'll do the Home Studio one double check your email address before continuing and I'll discourage search engines because we're just doing a practice here. So Homa Studio, that's going to be the name that you see where it says like howdy Homa Studio in the corner. So this looks okay. Everything looks okay. So we're going to do the final install and I'll do the login and it says username or email address. So I'll just do the Homa Studio and my password that I picked and I'm in. So I have WordPress installed on Gorm. And remember, when we want to go in here to our dashboard, we can do that. We can log in or log out over here if we want to. We could preview things. I haven't worked in WordPress for a while, so I'll need a little, little updating for here. I'll do some WordPress videos, but you can visit the site. And this is what the site looks like. We have this set up, so we're good so far. We'll do some more with this, but we have it set up, and that's the important thing. And just for example, if I close this up right now, I'll actually log out. Now, if I go here and I do my project running URL and port, and I just go in here the normal way I normally go in and I go to here, you can see everything's messed up here and I'm gonna do wp-admin and that would take me to my login page and then I would log in again and now I'm logged back in again. And if we wanna visit the site, there's the site that we're visiting. Now, this will only be running as we're running our server here. Remember, this is for doing internally. It's not meant to host a complete site on here unless you kept the server running all the time, which you can do in paid plans. But remember, this is the free plan. This is more for education, for learning. So we could learn more about WordPress in here, but that's all we have to do for now. So I'm gonna cancel out of here and I shouldn't have to do anything here. I'll just close up my WP sample and I could close up any of these things. And just to note here, here's all the database that got written. All the information is here being written to that database. So if you ever had to move it up to a real server, you can do that. You can export this and upload it to a real server. I'll have a video on that at some point because it's not that hard and it's better than using one of those WordPress extension kind of things. It's better to learn how to do it manually, I think at least. So I'm going to log out of here and close this up and I'll close this up. And I'll close this up. So we installed WordPress in Gorm. So we, we could learn all kinds of things with WordPress. We could build a site. We can do a practice site, all kinds of stuff. We'll do some of that later, but I just wanted to show you that you can do that in Gorm IDE.